Wilman Education. Welcome dear learners. Today you are going to know about the ratio and proportion. Important facts in relation to ratio. One should know. Ratio is a fraction. It has no unit. The quantities to be compared to form a ratio should be of the same kind. To find a ratio between two quantities of the same kind, both should be in the same unit. Express the following into the simplest form. 63 is to 27, 1 by 4 is to 1 by 3, 3, 1 by 2 is to 5, 1 by 2, 1, 3 by 4 is to. So 63 is to 27. Here HCF is 9. So you divide them, then you will get 7 is to 3. That is your answer. You, have, you can work out. Take out your copy and do the workout here. 1 by 4 is to 1 by 3. LCM is 12. So once you divide, then you will get your answers. 3 1 by 2 is to 5 1 by 2. If you make it simple, 7 by 2 and 11 by 2. Then your denominators are same. So 7 is to 11. 1 3 by 4 is to 3, 2 1 by 2 is to 1 1 by 6. So LCM here 12 and then if you divide them then 21 30 and 14 is your whole number ratio. So sum number 1 convert each ratio each ratio into simplest form all right so here i'm going to give you some example number 1 63 is to 54 so in this case what will you do in this case here you have to take HCF, remember, HCF you take and then your HCF, if you do it, it will be 9, okay, HCF will be 9, so 63 by 9 is to 54 by 9. So we can do it like this, means if we cancel them, what are you going to get? 7, okay, 9, 7, just 63, 7, over here. 6, 9, 54, so it is 6, so this is your answer, this is your answer of this particular sum. Now the second sum, second sum I am doing, that is ratio is 1 by 9 is to 1 by 6, so here the LCM of 6 and 9, this denominator, LCM of 6 and 9, you have to find and you have to know it. So, LCM is 18, okay, LCM is 18, then 1 by 9, into 18 is to 1 by 6 into 18. So, 1 by 9 actually, this is not 19, sorry. This is cancel, okay. This is cancel. So, 1 by 9, this is 1 by 9 into 18 and 1 by 6 into 18 because of the LCM is 18. So, now if we cancel, okay, 
18 by 9 so 2 za and if you cancel this one 3 za so this 2 is to 3 is your answer of these two fractions okay then I am going to show you another interesting thing the ratio 9 by 2 here 9 by 2 this is a fraction sum okay you have to have the knowledge of fractions strong enough okay is to 9 by 8 all right so in this case what will you do lcm over here if you find you will get this is uh, lcm is 8 all right so if you divide say the divide divide rupees 3400 between Abu and Aditya in the ratio of 6 to 11. So, here what is the total money solution? Solution I am giving you what is the total money? Total sum of money that is rupees I have given you already the rupee sign ok. So, this 3400 is the total money ok and here uh, so as per our condition of the sum 6 is to 11 that means Abu will get 6 and Aditya will get 11 ok. So, some of the ratios first of all over here some of the ratios here most important thing sum of the ratios equals to 6 plus 11 equals to 17 ok. Now, therefore, Abu share Abu's share will be Abu share will be 3400 and you know Abu share is 6. So, you write on the top 6 and draw line and 17 this is the sum that you put over here and then you see so simple it is ok 17 2 za 34. So, that means if you divide it you will get 200 here. So, 6 to the 1200 rupees. So, Abu gets 1200 rupees then what Aditya gets. So, now you can minus from here ok if you can minus from 3400 rupees 1200 then you will get Aditya share, but in this particular sum we will not do it ok. We have to show that Aditya Aditya share equals to Aditya share is equal to 3400 is the total money, Aditya share is 11 and 17. So, if you cancel it you are getting same 200 will get over here same. So, 200 into 11 200 2200 ok here it is 2 piece. So, I hope you understand any problem anywhere ok. So, divide rupees 3400 between Abu and Aditya in the ratio of this. 
and the solution I have done. Okay, this is the way I have done the solution. Okay, your knowledge of uh, multiplication and division has to be strong. Once again, I am reminding you. Now you are going to do the second sum. Second sum says the divide rupees eight thousand one hundred among Sohel Bhashar and Ab in the ratio in the ratio 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 6. Okay. So, this is the sum. So, now we are coming to this sum. So, what is the solution? Solution is this that over here we have to this one 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 6. You have to take the LCM. So, LCM of this is 12. 12 is your LCM. Okay. So, therefore, you turn them into the whole number. That means, 1 by 3 since I told you that your LCM is 12. So, do like this is to 1 by 4 into 12 is to 1 by 6 into 12 because of your LCM is 12. Okay. So, let us turn this one into the whole number. So, then if you do it then 4 remember if you divide 12 by 3 4 over here if you divide 12 by 4 it is 3 and if you divide over here it is 2. So, your whole number of ratios you have got all right. Therefore, sum of the ratios sum of the ratios equals to 4 plus 3 plus plus 2. How much? 4, 3, 7, 8, 9. Okay. 9 is your sum of the ratios. Therefore, first one is Sohel. Sohel gets or Sohel share. Okay. Sohel gets or Sohel share. What will be the share? Because Sohel is 4 and our total money, total money we have to write total money yeah, I total amount equals to rupees 8100. Okay. So, here soil share is 4, sum of the ratio is 9 into 8100. If you work it out, then you will find 9981 99 that means this is 9 one particular place i am just doing okay so 99 all right this one is also cancel so 900 well. so 49 so rupees 3600 that is 3600 Then what about Vasher share? Vasher shares. Vasher share we can write no problem. Okay. Equals to as I told you the whole number is 3 and your sum of ratios is 9. Total money is 8100. Calculation over here is same. 
okay every time 900 you are getting so 9 3 ja that is 2700 okay and then abu therefore abu gets how much he gets his share is 2 so 2 by 9 into 8100 0, 0, that is 8100 if you work it out the same way i have shown you already in the first instance 900 will get 9 to the 18 so thereby your 1800 okay so this is the sum so all three are your correct okay you have to write all the three there is no separate one answer you have, these are all answers okay until and un unless it is specified okay over here the next sum is two numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 7 and their difference this is number 3 sum okay their ratio is 3 is to 7 okay and their difference difference is 72 difference equals to 72 so find the numbers we have to find the numbers here we will take the help of x what we have done in simple equations okay if you do not have the sound idea about the simple equation you can see my earlier video of simple equation okay so over here we take the number as 3x let the number be x let the number required number be 3x and 7x as per our ratio 7x we can write okay so what will you do that 7x is greater so 7x minus 3x equals to 72 this 72 that difference since we have already minus so that is the difference actually we are finding out okay so thereby 4x equals to 72 therefore again x equals to 72 divided by 4 therefore x equals to 18 if you divide it you will get 18 ok therefore the first number first number we have taken as 3x that means 3 into 18 that is what is your number 3 into 18 what it will if you multiply 54 your, your knowledge of multiplication that means knowledge of table has to be refreshed almost every day okay and 7x first number and the second number second number is 7x equals to 7 into 18 okay here when you do 7 to so 126 multiplication is very important so knowledge of table is very important that i am telling you every time so keep in mind that knowledge of table is very essential if you want to do this type of sums.